In this tutorial, I want to show you how to annotate a document with the PDF director. There are several ways to do this. Let me activate the comment menu over here. And then you can either mark single or complete text parts with a color of your choice, or you can use the possibility to insert node fields, freehand shapes or stamps. First of all, we want to highlight a text part. For this, we click here on this symbol and now just open a frame around the area of text you want to highlight. This is how it works. You can also make another highlight here with a color just of your choice. Now the second possibility for marking something or to comment something is a note field. You can click here and create a note. Just click on the position where you want to put the note and then you can make an annotation of your choice. The color of this note can also be chosen by this menu over here, stroke color, in the first place. If you want to highlight or mark something with your own shape, you can do this via this menu. This is called freehand. Just click on the pen symbol and just make the marking you want to do. With a click on this tool, you can also erase it again. And with the menu Shapes, you have the possibility to choose from several forms. You can insert as a new highlight or as a new possibility to mark a special position within the document. For example, you want to choose an arrow to make sure that somebody who reads the document exactly looks at this point here. You can choose how big the marking has to be. And of course, you can choose the color as well. The next thing you can do is to add a stamp. Just click here and choose of one of the predefined stamps. For example, here, Confidential. Or click on this one to create your own. That's it. Just click on Add. Proceed with Yes. And now you have the possibility to insert your new stamp any way you want in the document. If there are several comments in a document after editing, you can see them here in the side column. To do this, click on this icon in the column and now you can see directly which highlights and comments are contained in the document. Now you can jump to the respective place or delete a comment completely.